watching Notes and Nine. Hello, and welcome to Notes and Nine. I'm David Leedy. Episode 152, Jason from Java. I bought Pete Jansen a beer. Have you? Okay, uh, some big notes and nine news, actually. Uh, I've got a brand new blog site. Um, so I moved uh, from one host to a different host, and I, I'm, I upgraded to WordPress 4 and a new theme with new functionality. And there's a search, which I don't think I ever had before, and a tag cloud, uh, which is going to make me go through all my old posts and put tags in it, uh, which kind of stinks. But anyway, it's it's kind of a, a, a big change um, for my main website, uh, which is and it's always going to be notesandnine.com. Um, so if you haven't seen it yet, check it out. Let me know if you have any problems or if you uh, have any comments on it or suggestions, because I, I like those too. Um, and we all know that I suck at WordPress, but I'm basically using this opportunity to just try to learn something new and get a little better with it. Uh, my other two sites are still out there. Uh, X page is CheatSheet.com, which has the cheat sheets. And, and don't forget, that has a URL cheat sheet too. Um, so if you're working with X pages URLs or so, there's a lot of example code and snippets on on on, the, on an online version of the cheat sheet, and of course X Pages TV, which is kind of that site kind of stinks, but it's kind of good for a couple things, I guess. Uh, and I do want to still redesign that. Uh, also, recently I was at MW Lug at Grand Rapids, um, Michigan, I guess it was, and and had a great time there. I met a lot of new people. A bunch of people came up to me or watched Notes and Nine, and I really appreciate them saying hi. Um, if if I'm ever at a conference, please come up and say hi, or or leave a comment, you know, in in against one of the blog posts and say if you like the show or don't like the show or want to cancel me. Uh, it doesn't matter. I always like to have good feedback. Uh, I presented on my file vault thing, which I think I I did on Notes Nine 150. I did like a like a commercial teaser for that, and that seemed to be fairly well received. No one at least threw anything at me, so that's always makes for a good session. Um, so that's coming very soon. Actually, as soon as I wrap up this video, I'm probably going to be working on that. Uh, I was trying to get on OpenNTF, and there's some kind of licensing issues with some of the projects, so to begin with, I might just get it on Bitbucket uh, to get it out there until I can kind of wrap it up and create better instructions on what to do for OpenNTF, but that's coming uh, very soon as well. Um, they announced the next MW lug um, is going to be in Atlanta 2015. And oh, I don't know if I, in this take I actually said, but MW lug was a great event. It was very well organized. I want to thank the sponsors. I want to thank Richard and his team uh, for organizing it. It's uh, it's something you really want to try to get to. You know, it's great content. Uh, not my session, but the other sessions. Great content and great people for basically free for the, you know you, you the cost of your hotel and even the food was good so that was it was just a really good event so i hope to see you there in atlanta in 2015 okay here's my favorite slide that i ever get to put up and it's a new contributor and i've got a great new contributor today and his name is frank vanderlinden and he he is an independent uh consultant now i guess at l star it and his, his URL is lstarit.nl. He's an IBM champion, I think two years in a row. He's on Twitter, of course, and, and his email, and he does a lot of Java development, a lot of web development, a lot of X pages development. So if you need a mentor, if you need work done or so, I highly recommend you 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 check him out. He's been a long member of the community, and uh, he's just a great guy and a great developer. And, and I do have to apologize because the, the video we're about to show, uh, he actually gave that to me back in 2013, and uh, uh, I missed it uh, because my back-end processes are a little lacking, which is one of the reasons why I did the website redesign this weekend to try to finally improve some of those processes. So I've been sitting on this for a little while because I didn't know it. I forgot about it, and he forgot about it, and, and I do apologize for taking so long to, to get it out there. Um, but here it is. Uh, he's going to do a, a show on using JSON uh, from inside Java. Hello, my name is Frank van der Linden. I'm an XPC developer from the Netherlands and work at eOffice. In this short video, I want to show you the use of JSON Java object. First, some information. As you can see here, the standalone uh, poll application we built ba based on XPages. And there was a need to, um, to integrate it in IBM Connections, as you can see here. In the edit mode, um, the community owner can select a title and the URL to the poll uh, database and can press the button Get Polls. And then the drop down box will be populated 
by all the active um, polls from the um, database. As you can see, you, you can select some values. When the community owner uh, press select a poll and say, uh, press save, it will change again to um, the view mode and it will show the uh, poll widget. First, I was thinking of using the built-in mechanism by retrieving the view entries through the read view entries and the output format is JSON. But extra requirements let me rethink this option. By using an X-Agent, we will call a method of manage bean in the x app. I was more flexible in which entries or values I get returned from view. As you can see here, it's a typical X-Agent. And here, a write output format uh, is a writer and house, housekeeper is my manage bean get polls. When I go to the housekeeper uh, object, you can see here um, I imported uh, the com.ibm.comments uh, and then JSON Java object. And in the method get polls, I created a new object. Uh, I retrieve all my views uh, for my view, all the documents. I do some checking. If I want to um, get the document values inside my JSON object, if it's true, add poll, then there was another object created. He put some strings, uh, put some values, a poll ID and a question, and he added to the list. And he looped through all the documents, and in the end, he put the list to the polls. Um, uh, JSON object and returned it as a, as a string to the browser and as you can see here that's the result of my X agent more complicated um, approach is in another uh, application uh, for about a leaf um, uh, registration uh, there was a need to post a message to the activity stream uh, of the manager. So I created an activity stream service. I put it a JSON object, the over overall JSON object, and there's an actor object and a generator. And meanwhile, I, I generate, I put all the values inside the different objects. And I put my uh, ID inside and then I put it all the actor and the generator and the object and the connections and bad and I put it all together and, and in the end I post my JSON to IBM connections and it will be posted in the activity stream of the manager. So this was my very, very short uh, video, my first attempt. So I hope that you enjoyed it and um, maybe next time another, uh, another video. And that's the demo. Uh, I, I hope you liked that. If you have any questions for me, here's my contact information and I thank you for your time.